What's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video we're going to be jumping into a rapid fire question segment number 55. Yes, 55 of these videos answering your questions for you. But first, don't forget guys, we're going to be taking the Tahoe to a bunch of different shows this year, but I also want you to tell me what shows you think I should take it to because we want to be hitting some new shows this year. But some of the tried and true ones that we're going to be going to is the Incriminator Audio Show in North Alabama. We're going to be at that one. Uh, Slamology, obviously going to be at that one. Made of Steel, Scraping the Coast. So these are the top four that we always hit. Oh, so the Sundown Audio Show in North Carolina. Got to be there for that one. So, all right, guys, you probably already know how we do this. So I'm going to jump right into it. You ask the questions. I try to answer them. I don't know everything, but I try to share what I do know. Um, so first question we have is Paul Smith. He says, uh, sorry, well, we can do it that way. Paul Smith, I have a couple of questions and comments. First, can I run my XS Power D1200 batteries in parallel to my strapped JP23s on a stock alternator with the big three? And second, the JP amps are badass. I'm a DeForest fan for life. My U12s are loving the JP23s. He said a couple of questions, but I only see one question. I don't uh, anyway, but the answer to your question is yes, you can run those uh, batteries uh, in parallel uh, to your strapped JP23s. Appreciate you running the down for sound amps. And right here we have uh, the little brother to the JP23, the JP13, and the little little brother, the JP3. So we can call this a 13-year-old teenager. We can call this a three-year-old toddler. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to do. Uh, anyway, up next, Chaz742. Says, hey JP, I have two STU12s by Avatar and was debating on either getting the JP32.2 bridged at two ohms or the JP43 wired at half ohm. What is your opinion? Um, depending on, yeah, you could do the 32.2 um, if you would like to. That'd be kind of different. Uh, me personally, I'd probably get the JP63, uh, but you could do either one of those. Um, I think it would be easier to do that than um, and not as hard on the equipment as doing the JP43 wired at half ohm. So there's the answer to that one. Up uh, next we have Will Taylor. It says, hey JP, what would you recommend an optimal amount of watts to give a single U15? I know they're rated at 1500 watts RMS. We've sold a ton of these. Um, so it just really depends on your knowledge and experience level with these subwoofers. If you don't have a lot of knowledge or experience, stick to around the RMS power or just a little bit over, so 1500 to 2000 watts. So you could do like a JP13 uh, uh, or a JP23, that's going to give you a little bit more. Now if it was me personally, I would probably be doing 2500 to 3000 watts, so uh, the JP23 version 2 or a Sundown Salt 2, something like that would be an excellent option for that subwoofer. Up next we have J from the 985. It says, what would be better, a plat PSI Platform 315 or Avatar STU 15? What's the better choice as far as sound quality, SPL, and overall quality? Now I would definitely give that to PSI, but I don't know how long you will be waiting to get it. I've been seeing some people saying uh, they're waiting a while uh, to get their equipment, so you're looking to get something like relatively quickly, you may want to go with the Avatar. It's not a bad sub, but it's not going to be quite as good as the PSI. So that's my two cents on that one. Last but not least, we have 2004 Beatbox. It says, hey JP, I'm about to be running two SCAR VXF-15s on a SFB-5000. I plan to run a 240 amp alternator with a AGM under the hood and a D4S LTO in the back. Could I also run your D4S... 500 farad cat bank with the lithium as well. Yes, you can and we actually have uh, Combo packs that include those two things. It's like the LTO 6.0 the D4s uh, 500 farad cat bank and like a charger <clears throat> or something uh, somewhere around there, so um, You can check that out on the website as well uh, that's going to conclude this frequently asked questions segment. So if you have any more questions, ask them below. And do me a favor and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button on here. Drop some comments below. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And we can keep this thing growing. Because nobody is answering your questions like this. So do me a small favor and help me out. I'm trying to help you guys out as much as possible. Before you know it, we'll be up to 100 of these rapid fire question segments. So anyway, appreciate you joining me. If you need anything, hit us up. Downforsoundshop.com. We'll see you in the next one. Later.
What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to take me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.